folks are really uh, judgy when people are on the air, especially because you know you're you're on camera and they can see like every little piece of you, every wrinkle, every fold, and every hair that's out of place. And you are in these people's living rooms every single day, so they kind of feel like they know you. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you like friend to friend, if you would say Elena, you're looking kind of scrubby today <laughs> like a friend can say that because yeah. we're close and I respect your opinion yeah. and all of that but when a stranger tells you that then it feels a little like okay it's a little uncomfortable but mm -hmm. again you're under that microscope at all times and I think that most viewers don't see it that way mm -hmm. they think that they feel like they're doing me a favor by being my friend and telling mm -hmm. me that color doesn't look well on mm -hmm. you or your makeup wasn't great today mm -hmm. and uh, you have to, again, same with Carrie Fisher, you have to develop really thick skin mm -hmm. when you're on the air because uh, same as I think that any actor or any musician that's in the spotlight all the time, and I'm not to say that I'm some big celebrity that I'm going to compare myself with Carrie Fisher, but on a smaller scale, you're aware of yourself and um, you have to uh, handle uh, compliments and criticisms accordingly, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, even today when I was uh, when I was running errands before I got here to be with you all, um, someone recognized me at the mall. She said, aren't you the weather girl? And I was like <laughs> looking at them looking right now and I was like, yes I am. <laughs> That's all. Weather girl. Because yeah. they're not called weather boys. You, oh, know? I know. you know, isn't yeah. that funny? Yes, I'm a female meteorologist. Yeah. And I know that that's a lot more syllables to say than a weather girl. <laughs> but I, as Ginger Z has most eloquently put it, I didn't spend four years in college to be called a weather girl. Right. I'm a meteorologist. So right. that's my title. And I think I remember, speaking of Ginger Z, I think I remember she had some criticism from somebody where you're like you're the ugliest weather girl something yeah, something I something. remember and her, her response was no I'm the ugliest meteorologist oh, you <laughs> yeah. it was so funny where it's like that's what she and again and, and same thing as she gets it too you know and of course Ginger's beautiful Who right oh my gosh no right. One. right someone who's probably jealous right trolls you know? yeah exactly um, but she deals with it too and people are always going to be heckling or saying something mm -hmm. and you know you just gotta let it roll off your shoulders and just empower yourself and mm -hmm. I think that that's uh, that's one of the biggest takeaways that we can take from uh, Carrie Fisher uh, standing up for herself or Ginger or mm -hmm. whomever um, because I think that ultimately you just have to you know be in charge of your own person mm -hmm. and be confident in who you are right and just know and it, you know, I mean, in my TV background, and I've certainly worked with a lot of people who have yeah. been on TV, who have been in front of the camera, and you know, that range goes from like people are awesome to the people who are just completely narcissistic. Not know, awesome. All over the place. Say they're not awesome. No, there are. Yeah, there are. <laughs> I've I've definitely dealt with some crazy narcissists. I will say that people it. who have been escorted out of the building oh, like, no. when they finish their show, kind of thing. Um, wow. so, yes. <laughs> and um, but some you know really awesome people too. Um, but I've always kind of thought, and here I am like on TV now, and I've always thought as a producer, it's like okay, I wanted to be in news. I enjoy TV. Mm -hmm. I chose producing. Right. Like I didn't choose to be in front of a camera. Right. So, not that people should have a target on their back, but it's also like. You chose to be on TV. Yeah, like you, you don't chose like to it. be in yeah. front of the camera. It's true. You know, because I've I've heard people complaining about they go to the grocery store and they're like, oh, people are talking to me and they're looking <laughs> at my card. Oh, <laughs> I use heavy flow too. You know, or whatever that is. <laughs> 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 whatever the heck it is. You know, but it's sort of like okay, that's sort of a private moment. You know, yeah. but yet these are people who have chosen to right. put themselves in front of a camera. That's true. And um, like I said, not that they deserve a target, but mm -hmm. I also think there's a little bit like, all right, but you also chose a profession where right. people will know you and right. you will be going grocery shopping and people will recognize you or you'll be at the mall and people will recognize mm -hmm. you. Yeah, no, it's absolutely true. And then there's also a quote for that too, is you are ugly to somebody, so don't worry about it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. everybody is ugly to somebody. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that that really sums it up because it, and you can't please all the people all the time. So, mm -hmm. what do you do? Mm -hmm. 
I think I remember a, a funny story that I heard from somebody, and I'm sure you've gotten this too, but people think they're paying a compliment, but uh -huh. it comes out really funky. Yeah. So I remember it was a reporter I had worked with, a reporter and an anchor, and um, she was in line at a restaurant with her fiance, and somebody was like, oh my God, it's so-and-so, blah, blah. They're like, oh, you know, your head looks much bigger on television. <laughs> you know, <they> <laughs> with kind of a big head in it. Oh, no. um, <laughs> so like that's the thing though. Like yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, is that or I'm sure people have told you, you know, oh, oh yeah. you're so much prettier in person. Right. Or you're so much prettier on TV. I mean either way it's like it's like so, okay, so like, what, are what are you saying here? Saying here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And again you just have to be you, you try and find some grace in you and just say, Oh thank you. Yeah. And just, Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>